hello guys welcome back welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title today we're gonna discuss about just wait today we're gonna discuss about usa versus england tomorrow how how the game will be my prediction and uh, da, 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 blah 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 right first of all prediction what do i think will be the score i'm no football expert but judging from recent recent what do you call it results england versus usa obviously usa is underdog right now and if you guys look back in recent games of england right they didn't have good the nation's league or whatever the fuck it's called and in past i think 10 matches or something like that they have had clean seat in only two games so i don't think it's gonna be a nil nil I, I mean, I think USA will score. That's what I think. But regardless of that, the, my final prediction is 3-1 to England. Because this England team, they're pretty good. But now in this video, what I'm going to talk about, talk about is how USA should approach this game. If they want to have you know, a little bit of chance or something like that, whatever it's called, right? First of all, I feel like this is the squad for... Tomorrow's game against England, projected USMNT lineup versus England, right? First thing first, now Pulisic is not the captain. Captain is Tyler Adams, right? And I'm kind of okay that Tyler Adams is captain because it takes off a little bit of weight from Pulisic. I, I know he's not like Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo of football, but he's a pretty decent guy. I mean, he's not the best, but he's pretty, pretty decent. He plays for Chelsea. He does his job sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Like, what was that guy? Like, that coach, I forgot his name. You've seen the memes, right? He's a pretty decent guy. And Tyler Adams is actually a leader, kind of leader kind of guy. Uh, he used to he used to play, where, where do you, he used to play at Leipzig. And now I think he's at Leeds or something, if I'm not wrong. And he's, he's kind of a leader kind of guy. And so that will help to take that weight off from Polish edge so that's kind of fine so how should usa approach this game it's kind of a tough question because england looked pretty good right england looked pretty pretty good they look damn solid right in the back so i am kind of let me just get straight into the point two to three things that England US should avoid first thing first US should not give up too many falls or too many set pieces to England they are damn good in set pieces even Harry Maguire can score from like corners and stuff and Trippier we have Trippier not we I mean England have Trippier he's pretty good in free kicks right so one thing one thing one thing one thing US should take care of is not to give way too many set pieces, right? Now, that's that's a bad approach because England will score every now and then from set pieces. They're damn good. Not damn good, but they're pretty, pretty good in set pieces, right? So that's the first thing that in US should avoid. Second thing that US should take, consider is whether to approach this game in a defensive way or an attacking way. Because when we looked at the match of USA versus Wales, right? Adam, Tyler Adams played pretty good, right? McKinney, he was kind of okay, but not that okay, right? So, should Aronson start or not? From my point of view, okay, from my point of view. Because I feel like if England concedes first, okay, if England concedes first, I think they might be exposed. Because if I'm not wrong, their starting defense would be Harry Maguire and Luke Saw, just like last game, right? And we all know they're not that good of a defender for Manchester United. They've been pretty good for United, but I mean, pretty good for England, but they're not that good for who United, right? So if England concedes first, they, might, they can be exposed. And another thing is, this US team is pretty young. They have a pretty young squad. And England, obviously, they have also a very young squad, right? So I don't think they're going to beat this team on like counter-attack or what do you call it, on you know on the basis of pace i don't think that's gonna happen what's gonna happen is let me tell you straight 
Where, which team, whichever the team utilizes the mistakes of the center backs from opponent's team, that team is going to win. Because Zimmerman and Ream, they didn't play well against Wales. If you looked at the match, if you watched the match, they didn't play well. Sergio Nades is decent enough. He used to play for Barcelona. He does not know, I think he's at AC Milan or something. And he is pretty decent enough, but I don't think he can handle the pressure of you know, wings of what England because they are they have pretty good options in both the wings, right? The England squad depth is very good. So, and Robinson he looked fine, but he he, he one problem I had with Robinson in last game was right he was caught out of position a couple of times. Okay, he tried to play as a fullback, you know, wing back more more than a what do we call this? left back or is this left what is it right back left back yeah left back he tried to play as a wing back more than a left back so if that happens against england us is gonna concede i'm pretty sure so one thing that england i mean us should take care of is if they want to go for offensive or defensive way approach to this game if they want to go offensive approach, I think instead of Reina, Reina, whatever his name is, I think Aronson Sunkal should come because Aronson is pretty good. He is a kind of offensive player. He likes to move forward. He likes to take care of the ball. He likes to move the ball forward. He likes to take the ball, right? So I think Aronson should start. McKinney, I don't, I don't know what the coach is going to do, but I think Adams and McKinney, these two uh, support well each other. Very good. So my starting 11 would be same. But instead of Reina, I think I will have Aronson. And I feel like US should take the offensive approach rather than defensive because US should try to expose Harry Maguire and Luke Saab. Because if England is exposed, they will be shaky. I'm pretty sure because this England team is not that experienced. They have a very, very young squad. Jude Bellingham and not Sterling. I mean, he's pretty young too. I don't know how much he is, like 30 years, 20 years. I don't know, but Jude is very young. Rashford is pretty young. Who else is there? Um, what's his name? Uh, the guy that scored in last game, Saka. Saka is pretty young, right? So that's what they should do. US, that's how they should approach the game, offensively, not defensively. I don't think, because I don't think England is going to sit back and not try to score. They're, we saw against... England, uh, Iran, they are very hungry. Six goals, they're very hungry. So, yeah, that's it. That's what I think US should do. But still, I feel like the final score is going to be 3 1 to England because this England team pretty good. But hey, you never know. This World Cup, we have upset. Argentina lost, right? Germany lost against Japan. I am going to try to make a video on that one too. And I'm going to try to make a video on Spain versus Japan that's coming up. Spain versus Japan, that's going to be a tactical game, right? It's going to be a match between Hansi Flick and Luis Enrique and not Spain and Japan. Let's see how, how well both of these managers approach the game. I, I like both of them. Luis Enrique used to be Barca's manager, right? Uh, and Hansi Flick, he won the treble with Bayern Munich. So, yeah. This is the end of the video, I guess. I think that's what US should do. And I hope, okay... I'm not an England hater uh, by no means, right? I love, I don't love, but I hope England lose, man. I hope England lose. I hope US can pull it off, but I don't think that's going to happen. But please make me, prove me wrong, United States. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you. And please subscribe, follow me, everything. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day.